Hi, I'm Dr. Sarita Randeve. This is my son Nihan. Today, I will be telling you about the benefits of yoga in kids and also I will be demonstrating Badrasana and Badra Purasana. Now, Badrasana basically is a beneficial sitting posture. You first sit either in Sukhasana or in Padmasana. Stretch your legs ahead. After this, take your heels together, facing each other slowly and slide it to your perineum as close as possible. For beginners, it is going to be difficult to take it close to the perineum. Don't try to stretch your body. Just do how much ever your body allows you to. Yes, catch it back. Or a spoon. Slowly take the heat as close to the perineum as possible. And see to it that the back of your thighs and your calf muscles are in touch with each other. Once you have attained this posture, try to touch your knees to the floor. Once you are able to touch your knees to the floor, beginners may find it difficult to touch the knees to the floor. If that is the case, try to hold your knees and bend it to the floor. Sit erect, hold your feet from ahead. This Padrasana is known as the beneficial sitting posture. Once you get comfortable in it, you can sit in it for prolonged periods and do various asanas like breathing exercises in this asana. It helps you in strengthening your thigh muscles, your back. It also helps in relaxing the ligaments like the abductor ligaments of your thighs, which improves the flexibility of your perineum, your groin, your thighs, and lower limbs in general. Once you assume this posture, you go ahead with Padda Punasana. In this, you slowly move forward, keep bending. For beginners, it may be difficult. And you see Vihan is perfectly demonstrating the pose. He's touching his forehead to the floor. Hold in this posture as much as possible. Slowly raise your head up. This helps in reducing the fat in the thighs and in the legs. It improves the tone and the flexibility of your lower limbs. It also helps in curing a number of erectile disorders and sciatica pain too. In each video, I will be demonstrating you a new asana which you can do yourself and also Help your kid learn it. This will help your child to maintain flexibility, learn the muscle. Also, it will help keep your child away from the sleep.